guys, what's going on? It has been such a journey these past two months because two months ago is when we started watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. We've had ups and downs. We experienced the unbelievable introduction to Jack Sparrow's character. We saw Jack go toe to toe or toe to tentacle with a Kraken. We saw Elizabeth and Will's love story blossom into the beautiful flower that it was to the point where Will sailed for years and years and got to come back for one weird sexual beat adventure. And from that amazing trilogy, we meandered down the road to the fourth film where the ratings were lower than a limbo stick. And now we are at the grand finale, the chutzpah. I don't know if that was the right use of the word chutzpah. I actually know it was inaccurate. Point being, we're at the very last movie and today we are checking out Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Y'all ready? <laughs> So this series has been one of my favorite that we've checked out on the channel. And now that we are dipping our toes into Star Wars, I know that everybody's ready for that. But before we dive into that, we gotta wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to expect. I don't, I haven't checked out any ratings. I haven't checked out any synopsis. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it will be interesting to see how they wrap this movie up and wrap up the series. I don't know if they're gonna come out with a sixth movie. I, I don't anticipate that would happen, but we'll see. And with all that being said, I'm ready to dive into it. Hope you guys are too. So grab your snack. Grab your drinks, grab your gooch, and let's get watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, we got some somber music. I'm actually sad this is coming to an end. I hate endings. I hate saying goodbye. I hate all that shit. Granted, this is not nearly as painful as the end of Harry Potter. That shattered me to my core. Nice transition. I like that. Who are you, little boy? And why are you running away at night in the deep waters? A rickety ass boat by yourself. Wait, you're gonna kill yourself? No, don't do that. Okay, if your goal was to kill yourself, Right? Why would you take a deep breath? That would just prolong the attempt. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you want to breathe out and then jump in? I don't know. Wait, it's ambiguous. Did he die and this is the afterlife? Father? Look at me, son. Will? Oh my god, I couldn't tell because your scrambled face. Leave now, before it's too late. I won't. I think I know a way to break your curse. They're bringing Will back? The trident can never be found. Let's fucking go! Like the tales of you and Captain Jack Sparrow. You stay away from Jack. Leave the sea for Oh, dude. Jack Sparrow and Little Will? Henry. I don't like calling him Henry. I want to call him Little Will. That reminds me for some reason of the show Little Bill. Like that little Bill Cosby. Did y'all ever watch that? Little Bill! Fuck. That is crazy. That's wild, dude. Anytime he wants to see his dad, he just rocks himself down to the bottom of the ocean and then he can see his dad. Nine years later. Okay. Stolen by the pirate boat. Damn. How is my man a pirate? Spends his life at sea and he's got, got them pearly whites, dude. His teeth would be decayed. He's going in, sir. Chase her down. <laughs> oh, he's not a pirate. Okay. But honestly, they're British, right? They shouldn't have nice teeth. What's up with this? I've spent my life studying the myths of the sea. I know every legend and every curse. Dare to give me orders, boy. Arrest him! <laughs> oh! Okay. This is treason. <laughs> Dude ripped his shirt. <laughs> is that for dramatic effect? This is treason! And because he warned you guys about sailing into the triangle, he's trying to help everybody. He's trying to save people's lives. That's treason. You fucking idiots. Yes, pal. 
He's dead. Buried in an unmarked grave on the Isle of St. Martin. Jack Sparrow's not dead. He's rubbing one out and drinking rum on a beach somewhere. We all know that. He can't die. Sir, there's something in the water. There's something in the water. It's a shipwreck. Oh, look at that. A shipwreck in the fucking triangle. I hope all you guys get slaughtered and you should have listened to Little Will. <laughs> that would totally be me. Oh god. Oh god. Death just killed the Quaker Oats looking dude. Sweet god. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, shut that dude up. You can't just be sitting there moaning while everybody's trying to communicate. <laughs> What are you doing? Too many years, the triangle has cursed us. The key to our escape is Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. And really a message from Capitan Salazar. Salazar. Dude is creepy as fuck. Death. Death will come straight for him. You say that to him. Please. <laughs> yes. uh, I'll relay the message, but not in that way. I don't think blood should be profusely dripping from your mouth. The men tell no tales. They said the title of the movie, right? <laughs> it's a constant joke we have to make. Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead men tell no tales. That's actually a really badass intro. I confess that I'm not a witch, that I am a woman of science. And I confess that while we've been talking, I picked this lock. <laughs> <laughs> My dude was in shock and in severe pain. <laughs> Our new boat is five inches thick. St. Martin enters the modern world. Why would they show everybody in town where the vault is and which guy has the key to it and describe it five inches thick and shit? You're just letting people fucking map out how they're gonna rob that bitch. Open the boat. It's gonna be empty. Oh. Oh! Jack! The fuck? Pirate! <laughs> of course Jack is in the fucking vault with some rum. How the hell did you get in there? Did someone explain to me as to why I'm here? <laughs> oh! Oh! Looks like the gold wasn't the hardest thing in that vault. That's your wife. Oh! <laughs> you were sucking off a pirate on my gold! I'm got it! I'm robbing the bank. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. He's got how did nobody shoot Jack? He was laying down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dude, I would be f knocking people left and right for that gold on the ground. <laughs> Move, bitch! My gold! No dogs, no women? Okay. No woman's ever handled my Herschel. Well, that's not surprising. You seem extremely uptight. <laughs> so fucking wild, dude. Your map will no longer be imprecise. You're a witch. <laughs> no. Am I a witch for having catalogued over 200 stars? Witch. What, just because she knows more than you? You're smarter than me? You must be a witch. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Oh, there's a witch in my shop. And a pirate. Witch and a pirate in my shop. <laughs> Have I ever the four of you seen my bank? <laughs> Why does everybody assume she's a witch? 
You need to scream. Good thing everybody in this movie can't shoot worse shit. You gotta jump that bitch. Jump it! Damn! <laughs> That's sick! Oh, all that for one gold coin? <laughs> Am I not the captain of this ship? You call this a <laughs> ship? I have a ship. Black Pearl has never left me sunk. Pirate Barbos are ruled the seas now. Face it, Jack. Bad luck dogs you day and night. And that is a blatant fabrication. That's supposed to be good luck. Y'all ever gotten shit on by a bird? I've gotten shit on by a bird. A bird also shit in my acai bowl one time. I bought an eighteen dollar acai bowl, looked down, and there was a bird shit. We've reached the end of the horizon. What happened to all the gold from the end of the last movie? Didn't they have a big ass bag of it? What y'all spend in? Okay, they spent it on rum. Let's be honest. And your sleeves. Been ripped. Oh, that means Mark something. Oh, uh, I would just say something like, "I fell off the ship. It, it, my my sleeve snagged on a on a nail protruding out, and it ripped that bitch." You speak of the trident. The trident can break any curse at sea, but this map has never been seen nor read by any man. Luckily, I'm a woman. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is the diary of Galileo Galilei. Wait, Galileo. Greenish Smith, Anthony Witch. <laughs> Witch. Come on, little Will, what you got? So I, I will say, one of the things in this movie so far that I've noticed that is unlike the, the trilogy is the fact that there are... <laughs> the fact that you can tell that there are lines in here written to be funny. Not that there weren't in the first three movies, but it just seemed to be a bit more naturally funny as opposed to like, it seems like they're they're trying for this movie. It's not bad, because the things that they're trying for are actually funny, but. Give me the bottle. No, he wouldn't give up his compass for some rum, dude. That bottle has given away the compass. So a Jack gives the compass away and it deteriorates the world they live in? Oh, shit. Well, now it's time. To hunt a pirate. Comes daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the man within <laughs> you just gave away the compass, you didn't get to drink the rum. Ew. Where did y'all get that water? I'm so <laughs> Jesus, bird! <laughs> Where did the hell pigeon go? <laughs> okay. The blood moon. <gasps> to release the power of the sea, all must divide. All must divide. The stars lead to an island. Is it the island where the chick from the last movie is? I need to speak with you. I'm looking for a pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow. He said captain. So I just happened to be Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> no, it can't be. Do we even have a ship? No. A crew? No. Pants? No. He's ass naked! He just saw Jax Johnson! I'm not talking banana pancakes! Son of Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan. Ugh. You're the evil spawn of them two. <laughs> there is a girl inside this prison, Jack, who holds that map. And you could be the one who holds the sea and with it become all that you once were. Great. <laughs> Jack, 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 wake her ass up! An army of dead are coming straight for you, Jack. The Trident of Poseidon is your only hope. <laughs> Well, gave that shit up. I don't know what that means, but... Dude, Barbosa! Look at those luscious logs! My man- Ew! Ew! He is living so well. Strings playing? Gold skulls? Asking ourselves uh, whether our thoughts were absolutely necessary. <laughs> Spit it out! It's your ships, sir. They're being attacked. Not possible. Three have already been sunk, sir. They've been sunk by a captain called Salamander. <laughs> Salazar. That's it, Yosernus. I love Barbosa. I've been expecting you, Captain. 
Perhaps you'd like some tea. Ew, what the fuck is that? That's not tea. I should pass. That's Thank goop, you. yeah. They're searching for a sparrow. Jack. Jack will sail for the trident. The Ew, trident. do not kiss the rat. But uh well, don't torch him! Oh! My cousin once had two rats as pets, and they gave him hives. Good pets! Jack held the compass, which points you to the thing you desire most, but betray the compass, and it releases your greatest fear. Oh! Uh... Lead them to Jack before he finds the trident. Lead them to Jack. No, I don't want it to be Barbosa versus Jack. At some point, Barbosa's gonna flip and he's gonna team up with Jack to go against Salazar's dumb salamander ass. Is that right? That's my guess. Stop. Uncle Jack! Jackie boy! Uncle Jack! How's it going? Can't complain, really. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the whole Sparrow family seems badass. I wanna see him get together for a barbecue or something. Kevin goes into a bar, orders a beer and a mop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, I get it. Because it goes right through him, spills on the floor, he needs a mop to- okay. That's not funny. How would you like to die, pirate? Hanging? Firing squad? Or a guillotine? Guillotine? No, that bad. Ah, just me mine. I mean, I would probably- Ah, Jesus, which one Which one of those three would y'all pick? I feel like the guillotine is the fastest, but in my mind, I'm like, is it so fast that your head gets chopped off and you're still conscious for a couple seconds? Because that would be fucking crazy. Imagine you see your body headless right before you die. It'd be wild. Bring the basket. Basket, why? <laughs> oh God, you saw the head in there? Uh, little Will, you better do something. I don't wish I had good old fashioned stoning, eh? I'd kill to be stoned right now. <laughs> it killed me stoned. <laughs> Little Will, you better do something! Oh. I'm just a diversion. Oh! Oh, he's gonna blow the blade up, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> the dude tried to Spartan kick him. Just cut the rope, dude. Thank you. You welcome me, lady. Oh! Gotcha. Oh! Dumbass! From this moment on, we are to be allies. Considering where your left hand is, I'd say we're more. Oh! We find the trident together. Do I have your word? You're holding everything but my word. Oh! Nice little Will. These two prisoners will lead us to the trident. <laughs> That's a really cool scene. Finally, today is... <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice! Tell the men to prepare to be boarded. I'm making a deal with that fucking blood mouth pirate man. I don't love that effect with his hair, how it's just floating like that. I hear you've been looking for Jack Sparrow. Wait, their ship just eats other ships? Oh, God. <laughs> if I were a pirate, I would have been on the receiving end of that. That's how I would have died. Jesus, Barbosa. Every time I tap my sword, one of your men will die. So I suggest you speak quickly. Only I he will die as will you. I be the only one that can lead you to it. <laughs> Except the living come aboard. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to think of that, but it didn't seem great. Why should I trust you? You trusted me to hold your port, remember? That was my stern. Maybe <laughs> really you need to spend more time at sea. Show me the map. It doesn't yet exist. She's a witch. I'm an astronomer. Ah, ah, she breeds donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> There's no donkey. Well, then how do you breed them? Dumbass. Matt is there. On the tip of your finger. <laughs> in the heavens. Let him up. Can't bring him up. Look for yourself. Oh, he was never in the water. Damn. <laughs> Filthy pirate. <laughs> no, spaghetti walls. Why did I What? A bit of discretion when courting a brunette. If you cannot avoid the charm of a sister, kill the brother. 
Savvy? Uh, what? No, I do not savvy. <laughs> That's advice just for brunettes? That little sliver of knowledge will cost you five pieces. <laughs> I'm not paying for that. Never say that to a woman. Oh. Yeah. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about, where it's, it actually is quite funny, this movie, but it seems like they're trying too hard. They're trying to make up for prolonging this series instead of keeping it as the original trilogy. That being said, the movie's still good, sets up an interesting premise and plot, and has a lot of funny bits in it, so it keeps that Pirates of the Caribbean energy alive, but at the same time, it just doesn't have that same oomph, that same power and badassness that the original three did. I have heard stories of a mighty Spanish captain, a man who's Scourge the sea, kill thousands of men. No, 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 men, no, pirates. Ah, uh, so he's got a vendetta against pirates. This type of shit blows my mind that there was actually a time in history where two ships would be right there blasting cannonballs at each other, just fucking murdering everybody. It's absolute chaos and just sheer insanity. I, I can't believe it. It's so archaic. I would suck to be a pirate. The wretched flags will no longer stain the sea. It's up to you now, Jack. This compass points towards what you want most. Wait, Never that's young Jack? It. That's young Jack Sparrow? Whoa! Damn, let's go! It's gonna point right to the rum, isn't it? That's what this movie would do, watch. It's gonna point to some rum. Oh. The devil's triangle. Oh, all right, well, what the hell do I know? <laughs> he earned himself a name that would haunt me. Captain. This my room. Oh. This boy was mocking my power, so I chased him. <laughs> so Jack really prolonged the life of all pirates. That's what it seems like. Throw it now! The <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! See ya! What a badass. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Tribute, sir. Wow. What do you think Jack Sparrow's greatest attribute is? Is it actually his skill or his luck? And I know it's a, it's a good, healthy combination of the two, but he does seem to have some skill. I don't know. In my mind, I think he's lucky as fuck. Wow. Sick. He took everything from me and filled me with rage. Oh, shit. Come on, little Will. You gonna spit some game? She will take us to the tribe. You've been saying that for <laughs> Bitch, that's what you did last movie. You burned the map and said you got it in your brain. I'm also a horologist. A what? You, she she studies horse. You have some living eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and matter of fact, what, darling, why don't you come down to make orders? Your mother was academically inclined. More like uh, horizontally reclined. <laughs> <laughs> Horology is the study of time. And she was always looking at a watch. Mm. <laughs> I could vouch for that. What? Little man fucked is that dude's mom? Little man fucked that dude's mom? Oh my god. <laughs> We should have never follow a luckless pirate and a witch to see. Luckless? Oh, kill me, and then the other dead won't be able to have their revenge. He's right. That's right. Are all pirates this stupid? <laughs> hey, that's smart. That actually makes sense. I'm going to swim for it. How dare you do exactly what I would do if I were <laughs> Stop it. No, 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 don't stop it. Now take off those trousers and your shirt and show us your knockies. I saw her ankles. You'd have seen a lot more if you kept your cake holes shut. <laughs> Oh shit, they're throwing dead sharks in the water, dude. Fuck that. Dude, I am not kidding. And please let me know if, if anybody else out there has the same experience as me. But I get freaked out even in pools. In the deep end in pools, I'm like, I'm gonna get eaten by a fucking shark. I don't know why. I watched Jaws at way too early of an age and it has just scarred me forever. You would leave me for some horologist in her Nicholas? Yes. Fuck! Oh, dude, hell no. Hell no, dude. Now, how the hell do you get out of this situation? Oh my god, my biggest nightmare, dude.
Wait, why the hell would y'all jump? Oh, you guys have reached the shore, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I was about to say, y'all are trying to swim to them? It's never gonna work, but they're running on water. They're like a ship full of Jesuses. Oh, and it's gonna drag the boat. <laughs> it's gonna, oh, oh, oh. It's the perfect combination of luck and skill. It's gotta be. Let's go. Clutch. Oh, okay, this is not, this is not good. Wait, what? They're unable to step on land. Oh. <laughs> what are y'all gonna run into some indigenous folks? Oh. Okay. Be a good lad and take the wheel, and uh, you take the captain's hat. This is the proudest moment of all. Oh. Dude, that's so fucked up! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's so fucked up. Karina is the only one who can help us find the trident. And I'm not in love with her. Yeah, you are. Karina! <laughs> help <laughs> Okay. We should tell each other where our treasures are buried. My treasure is buried between two cross palm trees in an unmarked grave in Aruba. What about yours? I've got it. <laughs> I upheld our deal. On me honor. Bitch, he took you to the ship. Big Cop Sparrow. Big Cop Sparrow. What the hell's going on? Pig Kelly. Pig Kelly? You hear that? Boys? Oh. <laughs> You hear that, boys? It's like, how many different problems can you run into in a pirate movie? You either find some dude at sea that wants to kill you, you're either about to get hanged, or you have. What the fuck? Wait, that's a woman? That's a woman? You've been looking for a respectable man. The Jill have to do. No. Boys, let's get on with this. No. That's not a woman? Let us begin. No. Okay, maybe I was wrong. There are some other problems you can run into into a pirate film, like marrying a large-breasted man-woman that's dirtier than a homeless man's ass. Uh, no, I've got scabies. So do I. Uh. Place your hand on the- Ew! Does any man here object to these nuptials? I do. Congratulations, <laughs> you may kiss the bride. No! Ew! Do not lick your lips! <laughs> Ew! You got herpes, bitch! <laughs> oh, shit. That almost looks like the ant from Harry Potter, who's played by Pam Ferris. But I, I don't know. Not like Harry's aunt, but that wretched ass woman. You know what I'm talking about? You're gonna double cross the dead. Hell yeah. Honest. Yeah, okay, that's what's gotta happen. Let's go. I hereby release the black pearl. Oh! No way. No way. Oh! Oh, dude, you fucked up. You gotta put that in water. The pearl! Oh. Oh. Maybe it's cold. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna blast up and become erect, no? Wow. Wow. With Will's son being in here and the return of the pearl, it really makes me think like they should just fucking skip the fourth movie and went one, two, three, five. And just had like a four-part series, if anything. Jack! Mm, filthy beast. <laughs> oh, I want to give him scratches! Beep, 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 beep. It, it took watching all five movies to actually call the monkey Jack instead of Damien, but it's fine. We had something sharp. I could pick that lock. Keep still, you- Ew, ew, no! <laughs> Ow! First of all, how thick is that dude's nail? Second of all, ew! They used his toenail to pick the lock. Disgusting, but badass. There can be no logical explanation. The myths of the sea are real, Karina. Karina, you're talking about a map in the stars that get exposed by some blood moon diamond. Like, how how are ghosts such a big deal and a far-fetched thing? My life has been threatened by pirates and dead men. Which you now believe in, sorry to say. Apology accepted. <laughs> Little Will is a handsome-ass man, my god. Who is he played by? This dude? 
Handsome ass man! My god. I know this book. No, you're mistaken. This was given to me by my father. Clearly a man of science. <laughs> oh! The memory of my father will not be defiled by the tongue of a pirate. Yeah, and some little bitch monkey that thieved my jewel. So you're an orphan. Gotta bring up the fact that she's an orphan. Nice, Barbosa. Ew! Dude, manicure your hands. You're disgusting. He wants her most. In what way, Barbosa? Did we not once know someone called Smith? Margaret Smith. <laughs> Margaret Smith. So how could you produce a fetching <gasps> creature such as that? Place the infant in an orphanage. Oh. Never to see her again. Oh, that's his daughter? Oh. Daddy. Tell me what you want. <laughs> 216 barrels of rum. <laughs> that's exact. And the monkey. You want Jack? I want to meet him. I want to meet oh! him. Oh! Whoa! That's crazy. I mean, that is true. Barbosa is badass, but he is a hideous man. And she's, I mean, well, hot. But that hasn't been the first time that there would be a hot daughter with a weird looking dad, you know? Sick. Terrifying, but sick. Looks like a damn Ozzy Osbourne video. Jack Barrow! <laughs> oh. Ow. <laughs> Ow, yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I love his little screams. Oh shit, they're gonna disintegrate. They're just gonna. Oh, not the pearl. Don't wreck the pearl. Trident be all that can save him now. Ah, the trident be all that can save him now. What did it say earlier? They must all divide? Wait, do you have to find the design that was in the stars but in the ground now with them little pfft, pfft, shining things? Or Damn, that's a lot of jewels. This is what my father wanted me to find. Fox. <laughs> this is the map no man can read. Oh. All right, well, find the damn constellation and let's get going. One star's missing. Uh, the the red star, the ruby from the book. I think you should know she's a horologist. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Why isn't it glowing? Because you got to put the other ruby back Where into it. Be? Yup. Is Barbosa gonna tell her that he's her dad? That would really piss me off if he doesn't. Why didn't y'all move when you saw the sea splitting? Oh wait, this is probably where it is. This is okay, this is where it is. Never mind, I'm a dumbass. The silence tomb. Once you possess the living, there's no coming back. You will be trapped in his body. <gasps> oh my god, no, dude. No! No! Oh shit in little Will! Salazar's coming in little Will. <laughs> Sorry I said that. Anyway. Wait, unless that's a curse, then when they get the trident, they can get Salazar out of Little Will. Wait, how are they? Oh, because this is of the water now? Oh, Jesus. Wait, so if it was, it was water, he didn't need to possess a human. Someone's gonna grab it. It's not Henry, it's Salamander. Oh shit. Hola Sparrow. Hola Sparrow. You know, you play some different music over this scene, it becomes a very friendly, uplifting scene. Under the sea. Under the spout. The sea. 
What? Release the power of the sea. Almost divide. Almost divide? What does that mean? The trident holds all the power then. Then every curse is held inside. <laughs> oh, you gotta bust the trident then. You want me to surrender? Maybe. <laughs> this is worth a fail. <laughs> no. No, this is not how this fucking series ends. Break the trident and break every curse of sea. Wait, every curse at sea? Oh shit, so now he's a person again. But is he still gonna be pissed at Jack? Probably so. Alright, well now it's time for y'all to get the hell out of there. Barbosa! Dude, such a chill! That lifted it up before fucking Thalamanda gets on. Ah, Jesus. Dude, that sucks. So many of them are just gonna die the second they become flesh and blood and human again, they just drown. That is grim. Oh, oh crumbs. <laughs> her dad saves her. Tell me he looks at her and goes, I'm your daddy. Oh, she knows now. Who am I to you? Ah, just some horologist. <laughs> oh, that's a much better answer. <gasps> no, no. Why? To kill Salamander's dumbass? Oh my God! Grab on, grab on, Barbosa. Ah, uh, fuck you, Thalamander! Oh no. Oh no. This is kind of fucked up. Right when the whole crew becomes human, they drown. Right when she figures out Barbosa's her dad, he sacrifices himself and dies. But I guess that makes it so Jack is captain of the Black Pearl again to end the series, so that's pretty cool. Pirate's life, Hector. Damn, that monkey looks well conditioned. I feel like he's soft as hell. Oh, Barbosa. Oh, little Jack! So fucking cute. For a moment, I had everything, Henry. Now it's all gone again. Yeah, but it was only for a moment you knew what you had. Wow, she's got a little piece of her dad. Barbosa. Barbosa, baby. My name is Barbosa. <laughs> Karina Barbosa. Wait, do we get to see the curse being broken for Will? Does he still have barnacles on his face and his cock? Just checking, it's truly... <laughs> Imagine, it's all bloody mouth. Nice. Why is everybody in this series so damn attractive? Everybody! Will. Daddy's home! Oh my god, dude, the chills! Y'all see the chills! Ah! Where the hell's Kira Knightley? What, she wasn't available for this movie? Henry, yes, father. Oh! I think I just came my shorts. This is awesome! Let me tell you a tale. That's the tale I want to hear. <laughs> wow. And he's not dead, so he's telling the tale. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, it happened again. Yes! <laughs> yes! Getting amped up! <laughs> Jack's watching it all! What a truly revolting sight. <laughs> wow. Yo, Jack bringing the compass to Jack! He's so cute! Wow, and it's cool because Jack is now on Jack's shoulder, so it's like, Jack's taking over for Barbosa. I mean, that's, that's pretty wholesome. Wow. Are there end credits? There's gotta be end credits. All right. Was it a peg leg? It's Jack. Is it Jack? Oh. 
Wait, what the hell was that? Of course, the last thing the series has to offer and I'm confused. Explain that to me guys, please. So this was interesting, man. I totally agree with the vast majority of people out there where I think that they should have left this as a three movie trilogy and that would have been one of the greatest trilogies ever. They shit the bed with the fourth movie, although I enjoyed it, right? But from a ratings perspective, from a revenue perspective, from a prolonging the story because it looks like a cash grab perspective, they fucked up. But at the end, they bring Will and Elizabeth back. So it's that like, it's that like rejoicing moment. It's like, it gives us a moment to rejoice and be thankful for the characters that we lost. In essence, it's kind of like this. It's like you had a nice pair of pants. They were a great pair of pants. That's the first three movies. Fourth movie comes, you shit your pants and you ruin it. Although they're still badass pants. So you're like, These, this is still a pretty sick pair of pants, but there's shit all in them. And then you go buy a new pair of pants that are the same khaki pants. That's the fifth movie. And you're like, ah, this is new. This is refreshing what I did have. I remember the time where I had these pants and they were shit free. And then I remember the time where they were filled with shit. And now I have another pair of pants that are again, shit free. Being serious for a minute, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought that it was well done. The fourth and fifth movie, totally not needed, but the fact that they are here, I'm gonna enjoy them for what they are. And I did, I really did enjoy them. I think that they had a lot to offer. I think that they were a little forced at times and a little unnecessary, but that being said, I would watch them both again. I, I don't know, that's what I think, but I'm dying to know what you guys have to say. So with all that being said, drop some comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys, peace.